Howdy. We are at an old school, watching ocean currents and surface, te surface temperature normally. And uh, if it's red or yellow or white, it's too hot. And it's and if it's blue, turquoise or white, it's too cold. And uh, we are off the coast of Norway, and there is some warm region there. There is another one. You can see it the the yellow. And this might be not the exact location, but I made a copy-paste with the location I just had before. And I watched first on Google Earth. This is what it provided me with. And there is not really something visible there. It's all blurred out. So I had to zoom back out a little bit, maybe like this. Then we go to the bathymetric sea map of the Baltic Sea, which is very hard to use. Let's see if it works. So that's the Baltic Sea and we have coloration and stuff. The violet color is obviously very deep. I don't know if you can click on anything, but we go over to Norway. We cannot zoom out more than just. And we try to figure out where approximately do we have this warm circulation or whatever it is, what you just saw in old school. And it's obvious there's no coloration here on this side of Norway. So we have to somehow guess where the sea starts and the land ends. I think the dark spots are land and this rather white that's already sea. And as you see we have here some geological formation which in a way could resemble a volcano. A cinder cone or something. There are many interesting features and it's also blurred out. It's not very well visible what we have here. There seems to have been mud flows in the past. So there might have been something going on many years ago. This looks also very interesting. Ancient city, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Why not? But I think that this is this part here. And if we zoom out a bit, here we can zoom on the other map, it's not possible. If the video would be upright, then it would be possible, but it's not. <laughs> and here we have that feature, which points in a way to the one part of the temperature normally. So we have this here, if you just would imagine it would make a straight line amongst the sea. Or what is it? Coast. And then we have this other feature. And in a way, it's 90 degrees to the shore. Whereas there is approximately the temperature anomaly. And as a real little refresher, this is the map we started off. And it's a little bit difficult to somehow 
figure it out because it's not that accurate. Maybe that's the easiest way to spot it. And maybe this is this other spot that I talked about before. Maybe. But anyway, let's go to the bathymetric map, which is, like I said, rather hard to use with a phone and all this stuff, but I don't care. This is this land spot I think it could be. And here we have this other, which goes down approximately in the same direction as the shore goes. Somewhere here it was, and here we have this land feature, and 90 degrees to the shore approximately. This is where we have the activity, and it seems. <laughs> what to say about that? It would be very interesting to get a better quality of this, because compared to the shoreline, where we have rather good details, here we don't have rather good details it somehow gets worse as you zoom in yeah, it doesn't really help and like i said this can jump to any adjustment whenever because it's really hard to somehow use so if something happens be prepared but anyway there seems to be some volcanic-like structures. One, two, three, four, maybe. I don't know. It's all blurred out, the whole area. Here you can see the blurring approximately. And here we have this kind of mud flow. Which seems to originate from this region here. And it went down there. Combined with this sea surface temperature anomaly, like, you know, if there would be some warm water pouring out there, out of the ground, it could heat up the surface water as well. Yeah, you would need rather much of it, but you know, there could come up rather much of the water. And yeah, let me show you still one thing. <laughs> I found some time ago, maybe most people haven't seen that ever. Now that's just some random stuff I just saw. As we are going to the very northern part of Norway, near the coast. Yeah, this is jumping all over the place now. That's really... Finnmark. And there is that structure. And I doubt that this is an impact crater. <laughs> it is a crater. Maybe a big caldera. Maybe. But anyway, sea, star sea surface temperature anomalies. And rather interesting features along the coast of Norway. Thanks. Bye.